Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass and today we're going to be looking at part 1 of the VR experience here on Copper vs Glass and we're starting off by looking at a virtual reality headset from VR ShineCon. Now inside the packaging the first thing that you're going to come to is some paperwork and with this you are going to get a user manual which I would recommend having a quick look at as you need to learn how to actually use the headset and adjust it and things. You're then going to get some service and warranty information along with a microfiber cloth to actually help you clean the lenses themselves to get that optimum viewing experience. Now the headset is wrapped in bubble wrap and it's not the best packaging in the world however it's not the worst either and if you do want to travel with this thing then you can do you can just put it back in the box and you can take it where you need to. Now upon first impressions the headset itself is built extremely well now it is made of plastic so it's not the most premium thing in the world however things like the Oculus and the Samsung VR headset are also made of plastic but it's going to be way more comfortable and a lot more durable than something like Google Cardboard which is obviously made of cardboard. So before we get onto the headset, I want to go over Google Cardboard, as this is the VR headset that I've been using for around the last two years or so. Now as you can see, you do have some sweat on the inside, as it is only made of cardboard, and it's starting to fall apart, and some of the Velcro is falling off as well, so it's not the best in terms of VR viewing experience. Now you can do things like adjusting the head strap and things, but that's pretty much it in terms of customising it to fit your needs. Now you can see the optics work extremely well, and there's no problems there whatsoever, however you can't change things like the focus distance. Distance. One problem though that I have is my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 doesn't actually fit, which is the main problem, as this is my daily device. Now as you can see, it doesn't fit at all, and while it's in here, it is pressing a load of buttons, it is starting to vibrate at me for some reason, and I think it actually may have, yeah, okay, so it's reset itself, which again, you can see isn't great if you want to actually view things in VR. So Google Cardboard, although it is available, it's a great doorstep into VR, but it's not necessarily long term in my opinion. So now onto the headset itself, which has actually been in the box since I've got it. So these are my initial opinions with you guys. Now it's completely made of plastic, which isn't necessarily a bad thing as it does keep it nice and light. However, if you do drop it, it probably will crack. So do be careful. The actual strap itself is also very nice and comfortable and you can adjust it on the back and also on the top from what I can see. And again, they are fully adjustable as well. So if you do have a slightly bigger or smaller head, then you're not really going to have any problems from what I can see. Now in terms of the part that actually touches your face, I'm not sure if it is 100% leather, however it feels extremely nice and it is really cushiony and soft, so it's not really going to be uncomfortable like Google Cardboard is. There's also a cutout for your nose to go and you can see the actual eyepieces themselves which I'll get to in just a second. Something else that isn't very complicated is the way that you put the device into the headset and it's all done via magnets. You can see that you've got a really nice cushiony outer edge for the actual phone to sit on, so in terms of the actual glass it's not going get damaged or anything and if you are using a VR application that needs to use the camera then again at the front of that is held on by magnets as well so again you can have your camera out so again if you need to use that then you can do without any issues whatsoever. Now you also have these two adjusters on the side of the headset and that actually moves the device further or closer to your face so again if you do have any issues with your eyesight or you just need to get the focus right it's great that you're actually able to adjust it in this way. Now the actual eyepieces themselves as well they can be moved around on the top of the device, as you can see, there is actually a slider going from left to right. And again, if you move that, what that's then going to do is move the eyepieces. So again, you can get that perfect fit because it's all about the experience and what you're looking at with VR. So you want to make sure that you've got it set up correctly. Now where this headset separates itself from the competition is the amount of devices that it can hold. It can go from anything from a small device up to a 6 inch device and that's because of the adjusters in the actual headset itself which are just using springs so again it's very easy to get your phone in and out of the actual headset itself. Now as you can see here I've got my Samsung Galaxy Note 3 which has a 5.7 inch screen and it's not exactly the slimmest phone in the world however as you can see if you put it in on one side and then just pull out the bottom spring it fits with no problems whatsoever and then you're set and ready to go. Now as you can see here all you then need to do is actually close it on the front and again the magnets are going to hold everything in place and they're super strong magnets so you don't need to worry about the headset falling around or anything or your device falling out. As you can see you can then see through the eye sockets there to the actual device itself. 
Also, as I mentioned, if you are using a VR application that needs the camera, then again, that front section can come off and you've got no problems. Now, the great thing as well is you can hear the device perfectly well, as there are slight gaps around the front of the actual headset and around the edges. So again, once your speakers and things are on, you can hear exactly what you need to, as some of these VR headsets do have really good sound. And again, it just puts you in that more immersive place. So overall, what you're actually paying for this headset compared to what you get is extremely good. Now this is going to set you back around £34 here in the UK on Amazon and I will put a link in the description down below so that you can pick one up for yourself and again there's a bunch out there to choose from however this one for the price and the build quality you definitely can't go wrong. And that is going to do it for part one, guys. Now, this was just an unboxing and overview of the headset that I'm going to be using for this VR experience. And the next episode is going to be all about the applications that you can download. And then the final episode is going to be all about the experience of the VR headset itself. I'm going to be giving it a try. And I'm also going to be giving it to some of my family and friends to have a go as well to get their overall opinion on virtual reality. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more, don't forget to hit that thumbs up down below. And if you've got any questions about this VR headset or Google Cardboard or anything else to do with virtual reality on mobile, then be sure to leave it in the comments section down below or on Twitter at Copper vs Glass. For more great content and for future episodes, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Michael from Copper vs Glass. Thanks very much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.